bring that ugly mug back. There it is. Oh, there it is. <laughs> All right. <laughs> uh, wow. Wow. Technical problems. <laughs> we can edit that. Alex can't edit that. That, that part, but here we are with Mark of Wood Seven. John, you're like freezing. You're up. bad. <laughs> I'm sorry, Mark. I, I promise it's not you. It's us. <laughs> it's all right. It's all right. We have something every damn out. week. Every week, something. Carry just, on, just, guys. Just like that audio, <laughs> that should not have happened. Why? I haven't touched any of the settings, and why? Why is it jacking around now? <laughs> Zoom likes to screw things up all the time. <laughs> It's insane insane so um let's talk about your videos man um i i do have low life queued up if you want to watch some of that yeah yeah let's do it all right let's see what we can get here of course just like you said we don't want to get banned from facebook so uh we can only play about 30 seconds because uh we keep getting facebook strikes on everything so all right, we'll go into mm. Low Life by Widow Seven. You can call me up. Good stuff, man. That's so heavy. So um, like I was saying, my wife was able to catch you guys at Rocklahoma. She actually was one of the photographers out there and she was texting me. She's like, dude, you've got to check out Widow 7. These guys are awesome. Oh, <laughs> so yeah, you, you definitely okay. made some fans um, just from the Rocklahoma sh uh, showing. So uh, I can only imagine being at incarceration louder than life and um all the other ones that you've you've definitely increased your fan base you know thousands this oh, year yeah yeah that's good stuff no and that uh, uh, that video low life was filmed at one of the festivals yeah yeah yep yeah, uh welcome to rockville good stuff awesome I've still yet to make it to welcome to Rockville. I've, I've been, that's one of them and incarceration. Uh, we were this close to going to ink one time, but still haven't made it. Thank you. So uh, I love that festival. Like, uh, of course this was our first time on it. And um, I don't know. It was just amazing. The overall vibe, like the energy, like all the bands, everybody was super nice. Like everybody was out like, just having fun, just having a good time. It was, I don't know, uh, even my producer, like, he came because he lives in Ohio, uh -huh. and he was like, man, the vibe here is just so good. And I was like, I know. That's really awesome. Cool. <laughs> That's awesome. Um, that is. is is that a David Wimmer? Do you know? Or do you know who puts that I'm festival sorry? on? Do you know who puts that festival on? Is that David oh, Wimmer? Yeah. Uh, Danny Wimmer, yeah. <laughs> Oh, Danny, Danny Wimmer. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, he's, he's been doing an excellent job. He's, he's really been doing some good stuff and uh, yeah, I, I kind of, I, I think I know what you're talking about. Cause I think that's how Rocklahoma used to be. <laughs> and that's what we yeah. all got addicted to was uh, just everybody's your friend and you, you don't meet a stranger at, at Rocklahoma. I mean, if you stumble into somebody's campground, they, they put a beer in your hand and, you know, introduce ourselves. So um, I, I totally get what you're saying, man. Yeah. Um, I, that was my experience at Rocklahoma. I, oh man, I loved Rocklahoma. That, I was probably like the craziest crowd we've gotten at a <laughs> festival. Like people were going nuts there it, i was like i was in awe we did a meet and greet afterwards and uh -huh. 
I was the only one who walked out. And I, I don't know what I was expecting, but I wasn't expecting 200 people to run up to me. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Nice. Terrible thing yeah, to have. That was really cool. <laughs> it was on my birthday, too. Well, nice. Nice. <laughs> September That's 2nd? Cool. Yeah, <laughs> you did your homework. Dang. Hey, it's my anniversary day, so I. You know, yeah, yeah, you did. I'm well, impressed, man. I was gonna sense. say, and he he was wigged out because I knew his real name, and you know his fucking birthday, <laughs> right? <laughs> FBI or something? <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> hey, we we do our research we try to do our homework before we do our interviews so <laughs> what's what's next on the horizon for you guys um i know we have a show in um michigan uh i can't pronounce the name it's like oh some oh something i know it's uh lansing it's in that area lansing michigan with a band called The Virtues, uh, Heartsick, and then us, and then an opener, and that show sold out, which is cool. Um, other than that, we got another show uh, around Iowa, and then after that, we're uh, going to Nashville to record. Oh, sweet, sweet! Nashville's awesome. the the place to be. That's the uh, that's the new Los Angeles, right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, so I've heard. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> and the going to record, is that stuff that you guys already have in the works or do you half and half? Like you're you're going to write more stuff and record or you got everything ready and you're just ready to record now? So normally like um, we generally go in with an idea of what we're going to do, like a, vi a general vibe. And um, I think with this one, we're just, like we got we're working with some really awesome people like uh one of the guys we're working with his name is andrew bayless and he uh, he's a he's a jelly rolls producer oh sweet wow and yeah so i think we're just gonna go in and start writing together and like come up with some fresh fresh ideas and see what we'll see what we make of it that's gonna turn that's out awesome, awesome. Yeah, yeah, Jelly Roll <laughs> is uh, huge right now. Just he's exploding. He's killing so that, it, man. He's killing it. That yeah. show that you have coming up on January 6th, is that the one you were talking about and you're recording after that? Or do you have anything else lined up for next year so far? Uh, the only thing that I know of is uh, the January 6th show that we have lined up for next year. And then... Um, we have another show lined up, but I it's one of those things where I can't talk about until it's announced. <laughs> makes sense. Makes sense. I just didn't know if you guys had like tour or something going on or if you're just wanting to start the year off strong. <clears throat> we uh right now I think we're gonna we're looking at touring, we're looking into uh doing all that. We're still a very, very much a new band, so it's like we're doing a lot of this stuff on our own. Like we're still looking for uh, agencies and stuff. So we will see to be continued, but I think we have some cool stuff in, in mind. Um, a lot of people have been reaching out from a lot of different places asking us to come play. So we will definitely be touring this, this year. Yeah, and I mean, you guys are very clearly doing an insane job just by yourselves. So that's that's what I was thinking. That's those awesome. Are, those are no weak festivals that you yeah. you just got off of. <laughs> oh yeah. Well, I will say, like Danny Hayes, Danny Wimmer, the whole DWP team, those guys help us out a lot during that because I don't know. Those guys are Danny Hayes is like a, a mentor to us, and he's he's really been helping us like kind of find who we are as a band mm -hmm. so i a lot of a lot of the thank you goes to them but we we do we do work hard we do it shows yeah. it really shows yeah like i said when my wife saw you guys she's like these guys are absolutely exploding up here she is you you've got to check them out so, <laughs> so she was 
And, and that was while you guys were still on. It wasn't, uh, oh, well, that was a good show. Let me text my husband. You know, she was like, oh, my God, right now in the moment, these guys are freaking fire. Yeah, nice. <laughs> yeah. So for everybody that's, that's really awesome. Here, we'll tell your wife I said thank you. I will. She's listening. <clears throat> oh, is she? <laughs> is, there, is there a one-stop shop for uh anybody to go find all your stuff music merch downloads however all that works now so right now we are in the middle of finding somebody to help us with our online store we have an idea of who we want to go with but until until we announce that uh online store just reach out to the band directly. Like find us on social media, add us. We'll make sure we get your order. We'll send it out personally. We send it out. We do a lot of this stuff in house. Like a lot of our shirts are made in house. Um, the the designs, like we'll so we'll get it to you. Outstanding, outstanding. Go f- find them on uh, Facebook under just Widow Seven. I think it says the band or music. If you go to search them that way, uh, Widow Seven official. There you go. There you go. You know something that I found frustrating was every time I tried to Google it, it went to Windows Seven. I was like, "Really, motherfucker!" Uh, uh, <laughs> <laughs> so be cautious. Put band. Right. <laughs> right. It's still doing that. <laughs> it's like did you mean but no i freaking didn't <laughs> hell at this rate you guys are going to be bigger than windows 7 so you're not gonna have to worry about that <clears throat> hey man that's the goal <laughs> hell yeah i love it so um do you guys have any previous uh releases like how, how long have you guys been together and do you have another album and an ep um we've been together going on it's actually been two years now oh wow okay you are new you are new yeah yeah um pretty much everything is up is all the songs that we've released (laughs) uh we might have something in the chamber for later on down the road like already ready to go but we're still uh that song is a very personal song so i want to i want to release that one okay correctly cool awesome awesome yeah i was gonna say um have you seen your songwriting and everything progress through the years but you're so new you don't know yet so (laughs) that's awesome yeah we do not know um (laughs) i will say though like it with uh as these songs come out like there is like a jump like a jump like between like what we were releasing last year to or two years ago to what we're releasing now right because um i've found my voice more like i'm i don't know i've learned how to navigate my voice a lot more and i think everybody else is comfortable like with what widow seven sound is awesome speaking your voice it's absolutely amazing it really is very thank powerful. Thank you. Next, Howard Jones. <laughs> He's good. Hey man, that's a that's a good that's a good comparison. That guy is an amazing singer. I I, I guess like I will say that like I used to practice a lot of Kill Switch and Gage songs when I was a kid. <clears throat> mm-hmm. That's awesome. Howard Jones is definitely a good person to go after. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, they're um I, another person I get compared to a lot is uh Lejean Witherspoon from Seven Dust. Mm-hmm. Yeah. I can yeah. see that. Yeah. <laughs> I um I just met him for the first time uh a couple weeks ago. How was he? Are are they as nice as everybody says they are? That's all I've ever gotten. Was absolutely they're just 100%. absolute wonderful people. Like, they are so nice that, like, instantly you feel like, I don't know, you feel at home around them. You feel like it's, like, family members. 
Like, that's how nice they are. Like, um, uh, Clint, he let me, he let me come on the bus. He, uh, LJ, like instantly, the minute he met me, he, he introduced himself. Uh, he was like, you look familiar. And it took everything in me to not be like, dad. (laughs) (laughs) You should have, that would have been hilarious. (laughs) That'd be a story. Oh man. (laughs) Uh, I wanted to so bad just just to be funny, but I was like, no, nah, I'm just meeting this guy. Like, I don't want to. I'm gonna ruin like, the vibe right now, dude. That right. would yeah. hilarious. But the next time you run into him, you need to bring that story up because he'll probably get a kick out of it too. He'd probably be like, "You yeah. should have said that. Yeah, like, that would have been awesome." Yeah, <laughs> that's what a lot of people say. Like uh, a lot of people who know him that I know, they're like, "Man, you should have said that." He would have gotten a kick out of it. Yeah. <laughs> um, another band who is like extremely nice like that, um, that that we've we've had the pleasure of meeting, um, Shine Down. Ooh, Shine Down, nice. super nice guys. Yeah, there's, yeah, some of the nicest people that I've ever met. Um, Zach Myers actually came and watched our set for uh, uh, at Rocklahoma. Oh no, shit! I was like, "That's awesome." Yeah, I had no idea. Had no <laughs> idea that he was even back there. Our videographer was like, "Dude, Zach Myers is back there." And uh, like after after I get off stage, and I'm like, "What? I missed him? What?" <laughs> oh my gosh, that's that's really fucking cool. Awesome, yeah. Yeah, have you have you seen them do the uh uh Smith and Myers thing? I haven't seen it live, but I, I follow them, so I've seen them. Yeah, I've seen it. It, it we, we've seen them seen them do that twice, and I, I'm telling you, if if you're expecting Shine Down, you're not getting gonna get Shine Down because Shine Down is their production is so big and over the top and just in your face. And he doesn't really talk a lot, but when it's just those two out there acoustically, they banter off of each other and it is hilarious. Some of the shit that they say and their personalities just freaking come out. And it, it, it is hilarious. That's most of the show is just, them joking back and forth and and talking to the crowd and and i mean uh brent's always been good with addressing the crowd but when it's him and zach together on the uh, smith and myers it, it is just it, it's uh probably three quarters of the show is is them just taking requests from the crowd or talking to the crowd or doing something so definitely go and check it out if you're a shine down fan and really want to kind of see their personalities smith and myers is going to be something that you'd want to see yeah definitely um one thing i will like i say about bands like that size um like shine the shine downs um seven dust even papa roach i met jacoby and he same same kind of energy hmm. same kind of energy nice. yeah um one one thing that i will say about those guys is that's the way i aspire to treat people treat younger bands like if i get to that level that's how i want to treat younger bands because it you see guys like that you if you don't know them you don't know what you're getting like for those those kind of guys like at that level to come up to the band that nobody knows and it's like hey my name is uh jacoby lejean uh that um those guys they're awesome like it i don't know it there's there's something really cool about it that's what i'm trying to say yeah Yeah. and 20 years ago that wasn't the case um you you do see that a lot and i i even heard jelly rolls about the same way it's very very humble because you know where he's come from and where he's at now and so i i don't think um the public would let a a rock band get too far if they 
they were just assholes like they used to be. And truly, they used to be just assholes. And they would they would yeah. say whatever they wanted. And it's like, what? What? You don't like it? Just get out of here. So right, you already it, paid for my ticket. So yeah, exactly. <laughs> but it, it, it's definitely changed over the last few years. And, and that's good to see, good to hear that Jacoby is the same way because he was kind of on the fringe of, yeah, he could be an asshole, I'm sure. <laughs> yeah, because he, he was getting popular around 20 years ago. So uh yeah, I, I think he was on that little coattail of that, but thank God he fell the other direction. Yeah, no, he's a really cool dude. He um I saw him multiple times throughout the night and he always came up and talked to me and was like, oh, I need to see your band live. Like, I really want to. <laughs> we I think we lost your audio, yeah, we Mark. Lost the audio, Mark. <laughs> Can you hear? Oh, connected. Okay. Here we go. All right. No. Nope. Oh. oh. It's just teasing us now. I know. Hey, where'd you get that know. Kaiser shirt? Kaiser guitars. Fucking asshole. See, you wouldn't make it as a rock star. <laughs> <laughs> I'm even like, check out this shirt. <laughs> I open up the jacket and everything for it. Come on now. <laughs> I got this shirt from Ronald Ramsey from Among the Missing. <clears throat> awesome. <laughs> Do you have any audio? Can you hear us, Mark? Yep, we're back. We're back. Oh, okay, cool, yep, cool, cool, back. cool. Ah, good stuff, good stuff. <laughs> it wouldn't be a show yeah, if we didn't have problems. <laughs> yeah. This is what we live for. We would we wouldn't even know how to fill up the the time if shit like that didn't happen. Seriously, <laughs> right? <laughs> yeah. Oh man! Well, thank you so much for coming on. And like I said, you guys have gotten so much traction this year. I can't wait to see what happens next year. Um, keep your foot to the floor, man, because you guys are are doing some good stuff. And uh, hopefully we'll see you out there in the festival scene next year. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hopefully, man. Like, we're uh, we're waiting to get the word. They give us the word. We're out there, man. Good stuff. Good stuff. And and definitely check them out on their Facebook. Um, it is not Windows Seven Widow Seven official. So check them out there. Send them a message. Buy some merch. Please. Keep these guys on Please. the road. <laughs> Mark, if there's anything you need from us, we're always here. Uh, let us know. If you ever want to come back and join us, maybe we'll have less problems. Doubtful. <laughs> right. <laughs> but we're always here. No, you like okay, I'd love to come back. Uh, yeah. Oh, new yeah. album. Let us know. We, we want to yeah, be the first definitely. on top of that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll, like, once we... Once we get our game plan, oh, yeah, we're definitely going to be shooting it. You guys will know. Thank you. guys you. will know before we announce it. That's awesome. That's there awesome. That's going to be awesome. Love to hear that. Well, thank you, Mark. Really appreciate it. And uh, keep up the good work, man. You guys are killing it. Oh, yeah. Thank you. We'll do. <laughs> All right. Have you a good one. All right. Have a good one, man. All right. You too. later. So we did have the other interview popped in about five minutes after seven. <laughs> and wow. So they stayed in the waiting room and now they've hung up. So <laughs> oh, well, you just brought them in, bro. I should have just brought them in to talk to Mark. <laughs> I just realized I'm missing my right arm. Huh? I'm missing my right arm. No, I see it. No, that's my left. 
My right arm is missing. Goober. <laughs> I just I lean back and get comfortable, and I'm like, oh, oh there it is. It's yeah. back. <laughs> so, yeah, hopefully, uh, hopefully he's going to call back in and realized that uh, that he was supposed to be scheduled at seven thirty. <laughs> That's kind of why well, I was I, I I hated to push that a little too fast at the end. I'm just like, oh yeah. gosh, it's seven thirty-two and the other guy should be calling. But, right. Yeah. Oh, well, here Marcus. he is. Here he okay, is. Okay, I was about to say, I guess we'll see, but that's good news. Well, he's on one screen, not at the other one. That's weird. Yeah. Huh. Howdy, howdy, howdy. What up? Hey, what's going on? How are you? Good, dude. How are you? I'm doing good. Um, my name is Randy, and I'm from Oklahoma City. Hi, Randy. And I'm Ashton. I'm also from Oklahoma City. And what's up, bro? All right. The the empty chair will be back here in just a second. <laughs> but uh, where are you out of? Uh, I'm out of Tampa. Tampa. All Tampa. right. Oh, yeah. I just survived that hurricane. You oh, know, God. dude, it was it was like tracking to hit my area up until like the day before and then ended up just saying south of us. So, like, it really wasn't terrible. Thank God. I thought we were really in for it and uh -huh. it turned out like good. So I was like, thank God. But, you know, a bunch <laughs> of other deal. places, a bunch of other places got hammered out pretty bad. But thank right. God we were, we were OK. Right. Here. Yeah, awesome. that's that's great news. That yeah. that really is. That that really is. So, uh, we're we're talking with uh, weapons of a new out of Tampa, and John is back. Hey, sorry, my puppy was scratching the floor. He wanted his food. <laughs> of course, <laughs> he wanted his food. <laughs> I can hear the sound. I'm like, oh, he needs his food down. <laughs> Those, oh my gosh little things in life that you got to tend to no it's very true <laughs> so what all do you guys little. what all do you guys have going on i mean uh, we want to know everything about you what you've got out there how we can get uh get merch how what's the new release uh brag on yourself let's do it oh it's nothing much man um we just <laughs> put out a new a new single um called uh break the ties uh, uh -huh. of the upcoming art of war album which uh i think we're working on the release date for like early like first quarter of uh next year it's okay. been out for a couple of weeks and the response has been pretty awesome so far so you know things are going good we're working on trying to get you know some shows and stuff together so we could go out and bring the new sound to the people because we haven't really been around the, the people in quite some time with covid and everything and then relocating it's been you know, tough going for bands, I think, in general, you know what I mean, considering they canceled a bunch of, a bunch of stuff, you mm -hmm. know, over the past couple of years, so it's just kind of like everybody's kind of getting back in the swing of things, so I'm hoping by early next year we're going to be out there rocking and rolling, I mean, unless they call me tonight and tell me something different, obviously. <laughs> That's terrible. You never know anymore. <laughs> That's terrible. Yeah, you know, at the drop <laughs> of a hat, dude, at the drop of a hat. Oh, yeah, every time. Yeah, yeah, it's 10 o'clock at night, hey, you want to go out in a week? Right, <laughs> sure. A week that's generous, yeah. I, know. <laughs> I, know. I think our first tour, dude, at Alderbridge, it was like, dude, I got the call out like it was like Christmas Eve or the day after Christmas. It was like, yeah, you want to go on tour with Alderbridge? And it was like our first tour on the first record and stuff. And like, we were still recording the damn thing, and they were like, yeah, you want to go out with Alderbridge? And I'm like, yeah, that sounds really cool. And they're like, yeah, it leaves in like eight days. And I was like, oh. <laughs> Oh, okay. Cool. Cool. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we gotta buy a van. Yeah, yeah, we gotta get <laughs> right. together. Um, but once we do all that, yeah, but we're ready. We're ready to go right now, man. It's not. <laughs> no. <laughs> oh shit! So you guys were originally in New Jersey. How did you end up in uh, in uh, Florida? I got Is tired of this. Um, you know, um, me and Freddie were talking about it for a couple of years and, um, you know, the timing just worked out where it just kind of seemed like the right thing to do at the right time. And we were just like, you know what, let's go for it. 
So I've been I've been down here about probably a good good part of like eighteen months or something like that. Okay. And I'm telling you, my old bones enjoy it so much. My knees, <laughs> happiest knees. Now, as I move down, you, know? you understand Dude, why people go to retire, huh? Dude, I mean, I'm telling you, I'm working towards early retirement, but we'll, we'll see. You know what I mean? Day, day to time, day to time. But yeah, it's freaking great down here, dude. The, the wealth of talent is tremendous, and the scene is popping. And everywhere we go, like everybody's super nice. And like, you know, it's weird. I'm I'm from New York, and uh, you know, everybody's always they got the New York face up there. You know what I mean? No one says hi. <laughs> right. So for like the first like <clears throat> three months or so being down here. You know, I go into like places to like whatever, like the grocery store, and people are like smiling and good morning and how are you today? And I, it was weird. I thought like people were messing with me. Yeah, right. So, uh, mm-hmm. Like people aren't naturally this nice. Like, what do you, you know, what do you want from me? And like, it took me a little while to get used to like, you know, people being nice. It's it's weird. It's weird to <laughs> there, like conversation to have, but it was just like, oh, okay, cool. Like people are nice uh, in the United States, like outside of, of New York. You know what I mean? <laughs> right. <laughs> wow. <laughs> so, since you brought up Freddie moments ago, I want to, from all of us to him, wish him a happy late birthday. It was just a couple oh, ago. I'm I'm sure he'll see this, but I'll definitely relay the message. Absolutely, 100. percent That's not a problem. <laughs> Especially since he was breaking up during that whole message. I think we need a clear message to oh. be sent. I got you. <laughs> I got you covered. I'm just gonna keep my mouth shut the rest of the show. <laughs> yeah, it's been kind of kind of buggy tonight. It's like <laughs> signals going in and out all night so you far. Guys are coming pretty clear on my end. It's, it's it's good. Good, good. I haven't had a problem on my end yet. <clears throat> if John gets a, into a stare down with you, it's probably not him. He probably froze <laughs> again. He no actually problem. did that. I was like. What is he doing? Why is he Staring looking at us soul. like that? He's looking through me. Right. <laughs> and then we realized when he started talking and his mouth wasn't moving, I realized something. I was like, oh, it froze. Okay. <laughs> Every <laughs> week, something. <laughs> Technology is supposed to make life easier, but unfortunately, sometimes it's just not the case. It's- it's sometimes more of a frustration. Than- it really is. It really is. Um, we totally lost audio with the, the band we were interviewing right before you. And how, how long were we on? 10 minutes? Yeah, we were Probably. on 10 minutes. Yeah. No, yeah. no audio at all. And we're like, oh, shit. I mean, we could hear <laughs> each other, but nothing was coming over Facebook or anything like that. It's like, oh, that is just absolutely great <laughs> right interesting <laughs> conversations when the stream's down though yeah <laughs> that's the best part so. reno but, what's the what's the one-stop shop place for everybody to find all your merchandise or your songs music where would they oh, go and i mean you know we got the facebook the instagram you know everything weapons of a new um we have a twitter weapons of a new it's actually weapons underscore of underscore a new um we have our website weapons of a new um dot com it's all it's all one brand and we recently started a tiktok but we haven't really posted anything on that yet so i'll keep you posted <laughs> awesome <laughs> i know that we're working on some new designs and stuff for like the art for the new single so i'm not sure exactly 100 percent what's up what's up there right now it's probably like uh still like sick boy merch and stuff like that left over I don't uh-huh. think we are shipping in yet, but there's definitely some stuff available. A lot of, a lot of hoodies from when we were up north. A lot of hoodies, but we got <laughs> some like scullies and stuff like that. Little like uh, bracelets and stuff. All kinds of neat little knick knickknacks. But you know, we're gonna we're gonna re up soon, and you know, start start putting out the new stuff. Killer, killer. But yeah, buy it. Buy it. Buy buy our t-shirts. Buy buy our hoodies. They're, the hoodies come in like four different colors. The writing is very nice. They're great. We have like four different t-shirt designs. Buy buy our stuff. Weapons of a new <laughs> advertise it. Tell your friends. Tell your friends to buy our stuff. Buy it. Buy it. <laughs> <laughs> That's what I love it. I love it. <laughs> <buy our> stuff. 
Well, how about a little bit of your video of Break the Ties? Oh, man. Do you want to see some of that? Uh, you know, although I have, I may have seen it once or twice, if you want to run it out a little bit, yeah, we, I, we can, I, we can I, do I, it. I, you may be sick of it by now, but I'm not, okay? I hope the people aren't <laughs> sick of it. Go, go to the YouTube and, and run it out. Run it out. <laughs> need that? We need all the support. Stream us on Spotify. We're we're everywhere. We're Apple Music. We're it's a worldwide conglomerate, dude. We're trying to do all the things that bands do. You know what I mean? <laughs> Good stuff. All right, here we go. Break the ties. There's no way. Awesome. Didn't want to play too much of it because uh, we we uh, tend to get Facebook strikes really easily. So really, oh shit, oh yeah. <laughs> if we you sneeze, the, someone's gonna claim it. You have the band's permission to to play the video, dude. Yeah. <laughs> you're, you're good. Whoever's out there, the internet police or the Facebook police, like it's okay. <clears throat> no. Hey, Randy, switch the stream back. Oh shit. Thank you. Come on now. Come on now. <laughs> we were doing so good. <laughs> it's better than audio. I get excited. <laughs> well, there. There we are, back live. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it, it, it never fails. There is a, what is it, TBS in Argentina? What the f no ESPN? I thought. Oh yes, yeah, maybe maybe it is ESPN. Something something I, stupid out of Argentina. Copyright flags us for every show that we do. I'm like, what in the world? And then I I huh. dispute it, and they drop it. It's like, is this like something that they're doing? I, I don't I don't understand what that is. It sounds like it's programmed into their 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 back end or something. It's just like mention anything <clears throat> Argentina related. Yeah. I mean. I don't really know how many bands you guys interview from Argentina like that, but uh, <laughs> none. Uh, well, now that we've said Argentina about thirty times, oh, we're the whole thing's gonna get taken down. To do. It's coming down. It's over. The whole, yep. the whole we need to get a over. band from Argentina. That's what they're doing. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Do some research. That's hilarious. Yeah. I'll make, I'll make a mental note for myself, just like for future reference if I'm doing other podcasts. Like, ah, be mindful. The girls will get. We'll get the snip, you know. Argentina. Mm -hmm. Don't mention yeah. Argentina. <laughs> Six more times. <laughs> oh, my goodness. Yeah. yeah, and it's really weird because it'll break it down and it'll give me like a screenshot. It'll be um, a, a section 2.4 through 2.20 and then uh, – 5.2 through it was like we're not even playing music at that time i mean what are you flagging no dude it might be that awesome poison is that a poison poster in the back behind you sergeant sleep <laughs> it is <laughs> big brothers big brothers watching yeah. dude like you know how like when you talk around your phone and then you go on facebook and it's like oh fucking this thing or that thing it's like yeah dude yeah. they're everywhere oh Damn. yeah oh, you start yeah. getting the ads for that uh wonderful whatever oh it's plenty of whatever dude yeah <laughs> so what, what's next up for you guys uh shows upcoming uh I'd, tours i would love to tell you that yes we're we're chock full of shows right now but you know we're we're kind of uh, bringing in some some new people to kind of help with sort out all all the kinks and the uh you know kind of streamline the whole machine you know what I mean? So we can kind of get things up and rolling. So uh, I'm thinking, honestly, like aside from some one offs, if I get lucky enough to play rock and roll this year, it'll be a blessing. Um, but I'm thinking probably like early 23. I'm thinking like there should be fingers crossed, you know, like an announcement for something, put something together, maybe some regional stuff and things like that. You know what I mean? And we're new to the area, so I'd like to 
and I think we, you know, some of us share the same and like they kind of work the area for a little while and enjoy the sunshine before, you know, you have to go to Florida <laughs> in February and you're like, man, we should just play shows in Florida because it's warm there. <laughs> There's a beach and stuff. stuff. 400 There's an alligator out there. What the hell? Dude, <laughs> as long as that frozen, dude, like it's all good. Yeah, you know, I'm thinking like we may have a couple like, you know, one or two of these like here and there, but I think probably the bulk of stuff is going to start to roll out early next year. I'm excited, you know what I mean? We're probably, we're, we're toying with the idea of putting out another single this year, but we may just wait till like January, you know, after the holidays and stuff like that, and then mm-hmm. get the new year hard and stuff like that. So we'll see, you know, we, we juggle a lot of ideas around and, uh, you know, whatever the best course of action is, I think we'll take, you know, so, you know, we see, I mean, we just put up a break, you know, maybe like a month or so ago it's probably been out like a month now yeah i think you know so i think i think it's still got some legs but you never yeah yeah right on that for a while yeah you know at least another four weeks at least at least yeah you know. yeah yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> well whenever you you're ready yeah just make sure that you you let us know about it and and don't be afraid to come back on and get on the show with us again and promote it because we would love to have you. Absolutely. I'm all about shameless plug here, dude. I'm going to get a t-shirt that says shameless plug here. Buy our merch. Buy our merch. That's right. If you have have one of those shirts, I'll definitely buy it just for that shameless plug. (laughs) (laughs) Right. (laughs) With just that and then our logo and they'll be like, what is that logo? I'll be like, just shameless plug, dude. Just reverse (laughs) image search it. It'll come right up. Brandon. <laughs> Brandon. Brought to you by Argentina. Oh, <laughs> damn it. We're done. That's Over. like the 15th. That's like Shut the 15th down. Time, please. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Lord. <laughs> yeah, I, I've yet to figure out what the heck they're doing. But yeah, I, I think you're right. There's some sort of algorithm that's catching something and it, it's it's flagging every single thing that we do it's just like what is going on and it's like the legitimate ones i get um how many like, legitimate ones could there actually be though? well when when the the record company is flagging it or what have you and i dispute it and i'm like hey if, if you watch it you can see the band is right there with us so you know and the, right. they're like oh okay cool cool here hold on yeah. dude hold on. weapons avenue approves this whole entire thing <laughs> <laughs> there we go we're good play that <laughs> whole playlist hold on dude. That's, that's the shirt. so shameless plug here the logo and then the back of the shirt 100 <laughs> percent. i absolutely love it the <laughs> i'm down with it i'd wear it Let's get like I one of your, let's get one of your most <laughs> insane. Uh, this is an emergency selling, thing. but I mean, we could try, you know what I mean? We're, we're, you know. Oh, yeah. What What's one of your craziest road stories from while you were on tour? I can't tell you those. God dang it. I have to plead, I have to plead the fifth. I have, to, I have to play the fifth. Let's just say Weapons of Manu has a great time uh, bringing traveling rock and roll across the United States of America. And we never disappoint, whether it's before, during, after the show. We we're, only, let, we only let one band off the hook with that question before. And that's because their daughter was sitting in the room with them while they were doing the show. Well, <laughs> oh. <laughs> I mean, all kinds of crazy stuff happens. It doesn't even have to be like the craziest thing. Like, dude. I probably spent two thousand dollars in spare bus tires on the last tour, dude. Like, like mm. that's crazy. Oh, that that is pretty crazy. In the budget, it was like every second day, it was like, oh shit, tire, oh shit, tire. Like Walmart just had my card on file, dude. <laughs> Came home, my bank statement, and I'm like, oh man, Walmart just kicked the the fuck out of me on this one. I mean, dude, we have a good time, you know what I mean? It's it's rock and roll, you know what I mean? And yeah. that's the thing. and and. And you wondered how he got so good at shamelessly plugging his merch. Shameless plug. Here. <laughs> right it's fucking tires. Right. Dude, Someone's got to pay for the damn tires. Dude, you know, I <laughs> draw the short straw. It's like, yeah, it's my turn. I got you. <laughs> I mean, dude, yeah. we have a good time. You know, we're all about the people. You know what I mean? I mean, we're old school. You know what I mean? So it's about, you know, 
getting off the stage sweaty, wiping yourself down with the towel and hitting that merch table until, you know, they, they kick us out of the club, you know what I mean? In between the band, other bands, during the other bands, like, you know, we, we don't care. We're all about the people, you know what I mean? And, th- and that's the thing I think that makes us, you know, different. It's like, you know, you don't have to pay $50 to stand online to take a picture with me, dude. Like, I'm a regular, I'm a regular dude, you know what I mean? I'm a regular dude that, like, play bass in a rock and roll band and, like, that's a wonderful thing. I get to share that with people on planet Earth. Like you experience some joy from us doing that, even if you've never heard of us, because at the end of the time, no one has ever heard of us. And at the end, they're like, oh, my God, you're the dude. And you guys were this and that. And it's like, fuck, yeah, man. You know what I mean? Like, <laughs> I hope that made you forget about the problems you have in your life for 45 minutes. You know what I mean? And that inspires you to be a better human being and play an instrument which i don't recommend i recommend you go to college to be a rocket scientist <laughs> or like a fucking lawyer or a doctor you know what i mean like but yeah well music is a beautiful thing you know i love it i love it very much you know what i mean and it's allowed me to meet people and go places that i never would have been or gone or done like you know outside of doing what i normally do in my daily life you know what i mean so it's it's really is, is a blessing you know what i mean like who would have thought sitting in your room and practicing the bass for 20 hours a day as a teenager and 20 year old and playing a million shows from here to fucking Timbuktu, like would get you to do these things. You know what I mean? Like I grew up watching like, you know, my favorite fucking VHS step was um, live shit, binge and purge dude. And I would watch the fuck out of that Metallica fucking box set VHS tapes and be like, mm-hmm that's what I want to do when I grow up. You know what I mean? Like that, that's it. And like, you know, we're blessed to be able to, <coughs> you know, do it and, and, and God willing continue to do it. You know what I mean? It's, it's, it's awesome. It's totally fucking awesome. Absolutely. Love to hear the, the passion that you have it, just for the music and, and how happy you are with your decisions and all of the, uh, bus tires that you've had to to buy Dude, i mean you know <laughs> you get to go you know out on the road with your fucking family for weeks at a time you know what i mean and like that's an unbreakable bond dude you know what i mean it's awesome it's awesome absolutely to to, there's you never get closer with another human being than driving down a snowy wisconsin road at two in the morning where those street signs are labeled by letters and all there are is cows <laughs> it's a priceless moment i'm like dude does that fucking sign say w and he's like yeah i think it does i'm <laughs> like turn on w i i don't know but there's cow <laughs> but it's negative 30 degrees outside like this is <laughs> this is great are we going to crash are we going to fall asleep while we drive is the guy that's driving going to stay awake while i try to take a nap i think there's Dennis. a hotel on x street yeah dude yo if we could just make it to x dude there was a fucking x street and i'm like maybe maybe this (laughs) one i don't know (laughs) Ah, that's ridiculous yeah i was i was surprised too i was surprised too (laughs) so good at night with these old you know window window pane peepers here so hard to see when it's snowing you're squinting and you're like "Eh, hopefully this is the right one you know, right. it's, it's, it's a crap shoot. You're rolling, you're rolling the dice. GPS, <laughs> you're rolling the dice. <laughs> Didn't we pass that cow already? <laughs> oh, dude, that was a different. That was a different cow. That was. A different cow. <laughs> he was facing the other direction. Absolutely, <laughs> absolutely, he was. <laughs> oh my gosh, where did we go? <laughs> right, right. <laughs> You made a hard left, dude, and that's what it's all about. Sometimes you make a hard left. <laughs> We're yeah. on X Street. What the it fuck? seems to happen, though, on a that's regular the basis second. for us. Yeah. <laughs> second cow. <laughs> oh man, Randy, I don't, I don't have any more uh, substantial notes at this point. You sure? Right. The second page. Oh wait, wait, wait. With the second I page. Do have, I do have one thing <laughs> that I want to say. Uh, weaponsofanew.com, Buy their merch. Oh, you sir. <laughs> <laughs> Got him. I like it. I definitely like it. I love it. 
I love it. Well, thank my, you, Reno, so much. Oh, uh, dude, my pleasure, dude. At, thank you for having me. I appreciate it. No problem. And definitely hit us up um, when you guys get that new recording or whatever you guys do, uh, touring dates, um, just whatever. As soon as you guys start having some, uh, some uh, good action, just let us know and, and come back on and, and uh, we'll, we'll put it out on the internet again. Well, it's all good action right now. Break the ties out. Art of War is coming. Everybody get excited and go every to every one of our social media platforms. Click on the link tree and buy the merchandise because Reno is hungry and so are some of the other guys. Buy our merch. Stream our stuff. Weapons of a new. It's, it's global. It's a bigger than the global pandemic of COVID-19. We're, <laughs> we're overtaking COVID-19. <laughs> hell yeah uh, i love it all right well thank you reno uh no problem man it's my pleasure guys thank you so much for you having bet. me you have a wonderful evening you too bro all right bye-bye right. you want to try to play some of that music to take us out yeah 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 get this i don't think he was ready for that abrupt of an ending no <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>